Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So each ticket to uh, to ride a carousel costs 250, and the table shows this relationship between x and y. So our x is going to be the number of tickets. Notice we do kind of skip here a little bit. It's one, two, three, five. So we're jumping over that four, and then we've already got our y set out for us: 250, five bucks, 750, and then 1250. So there's that pattern right there in case we were looking for it. Not that we need it, right? But it's going to be 250 per ticket. So we're just going to multiply the X, the number of tickets, by 250 to get your Y, the dollars. And so we're simply trying to find the best table. So let me rewrite each of these right here as an X and a Y, as an ordered pair. It's just going to help us a little bit. All right, so this first one is going to be 1, comma, and I'll just drop off that 0 in the hundredths. We need it when we're talking about dollars and cents, but not really when we're graphing. So 1, comma, 2.5, or 2 and 5 tenths. So our second one here is going to be 2, comma, and I don't need any decimal, just leave it as 5, 3, comma 7.5 or 7 and 5 tenths and there's that last one 5 12.5 all right so now that we've got our ordered pairs let's take a look let's just start with f so here's the thing right if we are looking at 2.5 you see there's only one line right there, so I'm looking at F right there. See that one line right there between 2 and 4? Well, what's halfway between 2 and 4? That's going to be 3, right? And if you look at your number of tickets, it's a slightly different, slightly different right there, right? So they've got that, they're using that 1. It doesn't necessarily go over as far, but the scale factor is going to be the same. So even though it looks like it might be a little bit smaller because that X's are going to 10's, why is it going to 14? They're still using the scale factor. They're, they're going by ones, but they're only writing the even numbers. So this first one right here, it's not 2.5, right? It's an X of 1, so that's good. But it's a Y of 3. So it's not really what we're looking for. Uh, so this next one, right, is going to be X of 2. Y of 5, yeah, that's good. This next one, there's your 3 right there. So X of 3, Y of 8. Yeah, we're not even close. Okay. We needed a Y of 3 point, uh, 7.5, so F is no good. Let's try this one. Here's my X of 1. Now look at this. It's There's my 3 right there, and it's between my 3 and my 2. So that's what 2.5 looks like not even on the line. So that looks good. Now I've got my x of 2, y of 5. Okay, that looks good. Now I've got my x of 3. Now you see, right, it's between this line and the 8, and that line right there is the 7. So it's between 7 and 8, which means it's going to be my 7.5. And then, wow, this one's way over here. So this is my 5. And it's between that 12 and that line's going to be my 13. So 12 and 13, 12.5. So you know what? G looks good. Let's see if we can kind of eliminate some of these other ones. There's my 1. I got 1 and 2.5. Yeah. There's my 2 and 5. Yeah. There's my 3, 7.5. And so... Uh, my issue here with this one is going to be the 5, and that's 11.5. Just th the Y is a little bit short. And you can see even this one, this Y is a little bit short. That's a Y of 12. So our answer is G.